We're at Sheboygan North High School where Jeff Parks and the North High Pep Band are trying to interfere with our introduction, but we're not going to let them. Alongside the coach Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Tonight we have a uh, regional final game. Green Bay Southwest coming in to play the uh, Lady Raiders undefeated in 23 games. Chris, I was shocked when I saw they only played one time this year and North beat them 40 to 11. Yeah, point number one of my points of emphasis is forget about it. That game was six weeks ago. Don't think about the fact that it was 40 to 11. Think about the fact that this team is 17 and six. Not that you win that one game 40 to 11. So that's one of the key things. Whatever happened back then, you got to totally forget about it. They, they, you know, very good basketball team coming here on the road, and they would like nothing better to knock off the number one seed. Natisha Heidemann is their leading scorer. She's averaging 17-1 again. And Claire Zakos uh, Zakowski is the coach's daughter, Casey Zakowski. We remember him from years ago coaching at Notre Dame. Uh, she averages 8.2 a game. So they're no slouches when it comes to offense, even though they only scored 11 against North in that earlier game. Yeah, not only that, they, they won like 10 games in a row, and then they lost it to Pierre, and then they only scored 13 against Notre Dame. So when you're talking about a girl who averaged 17 points a game, what did she score in those other games? That's what scares me a little bit, because if the team only scored 13 and 11 in the others, she must have been in the 20s or 30s or even higher than that. So that scares me a little bit, and that's well, definitely a focus uh, on, on that team. Of course, you mentioned Casey Zakowski, a very successful coach. Uh, one of the coaches when I was coaching, I, I very much admired him in the conference. One of the things he did, his teams were always very well coached. He was, and he was like just the classiest of guys. But one thing he likes to do is take care of the basketball and hold the basketball. And that's one thing he's probably going to want to do tonight is, is hold the basketball. His team only averages 40-some points a game. Sheboygan North only averages about 40 points a game. Both teams give, are very good on defense. So I expect a real tight game. They're going to have to extend their defense a little bit. North certainly likes to shoot the three. Now, they didn't shoot it very well last night, but if they make a couple, you know, it could be trouble for uh, uh, Green Bay Southwest. i got to be honest with you, folks. Marty did not see my cheat sheet at all. Point number one, forget about that last game. Point number two, Sheboygan North, you got to shoot well. So, Marty is exactly right. you got to shoot the ball a lot better, and you got to make some threes early, and, you know, don't let them in the ball game to, at all. And one of the keys I thought was shooting the ball. With. One thing that uh, Casey Zakowski does a nice job of is teaching defense, and uh, they're going to have to protect the paint against the Golden Raiders. Yeah, they are. They, they only give up 33 points a game. Boy, North only gives up 28 points per game. And when you take the ball out, out of hand or try to take care of the ball, what you're going to have to do is each possession becomes even more valuable because you don't have as many possessions. So what I would do if I was Sheboygan North to do what I always try to do is shoot your three, but I would try to dump it in to McKenzie and Madison Wolf for sure to try to get some easy baskets. And of course, CJ Usadol just ahead to be herself. He's kind of the glue of the team. The Wolf girls didn't start last night because of being sick uh, during the course of the week, missed a lot of practice. Uh, do you have any insight? Are they starting tonight? I, I don't know if they're starting, but they both said they were fine. We interviewed them last night. They both are smiling and happy about last night. Oh, we're just fine and things like that. So I anticipate them both starting. If you think about it last night, they came in right away and just under the six-minute mark, so it's not like they let them sit at all. But I thought another positive thing that Coach Spielman did last night is, is he basically sat the girls in the fourth quarter. His team should be very well rested on these back-to-back -back nights. So the only time you have to do it during the tournament, but her, her, his girls should be ready to go. One of the things that got the subs in early was when uh, Madison Wolf hit the deck real hard <laughs> near the you know beginning of that fourth quarter. We're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the uh, starting lineups and a tip-off for tonight's game. Bye. Jen, I'm here. Okay, why are you wearing that? Because we are going golfing. I would, except I got a lot of stuff I got to get oh, done. Oh, no, no more to-do lists, no more laundry. We are going to go have fun. I mean, we've always wanted to learn how to play golf, yeah. right? So, it's playtime. Come on. Okay, what am I going to wear? You can learn how to play golf with five lessons from a PGA or LPGA instructor starting at only $99. Go to GetGolfReady.com. Get ready to play.
simple moments are what make every day count. Hey, we're gonna help this guy. Help Ricky Rubio save a life at heartrescuenow.com. America's service members and veterans are strong, forged out of bravery, sacrifice, and duty. Sometimes reaching out for help can be the most challenging and worthwhile mission of all. When you recognize something isn't right, make the call to the Veterans Crisis Line or Military Crisis Line. Dial 1-800-273-8255 and press 1. of our national anthem by the North High Pep Band. Number five, Natisha Heideman. A senior, number 10, Sam Pedersen. A senior, number 15, Kayla Nickham. A sophomore, number 24, Claire Zakowski. And now the starting lineup for the Sheboygan North Eye Lady Raiders, coached by Eric Spielman. A senior, number 24, Lindsey Gussie. A junior, number 42, Mackenzie Wolf. A senior, number 44, C.J. Usadel. A junior, number 52, Madison Wolf. A junior, number 54, Emma Gentine. The officials for tonight's game are Tim Harkey, Terry Kreiser, and Pat Schutte. These individuals are registered by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and assigned by the WIAA. Their experience and integrity qualify them to administer the rules of the game. Athletic trainer for this evening's game is provided by Purveyor Sports Medicine and tonight's athletic trainer, Mr. Chris Lenz. We're just about ready to get the uh, tip off going. As is the case in just about every game they play, Chris North uh, has a sizable height advantage and uh, that certainly plays into their uh, style of defense with uh, playing a zone. 
Interesting to note, Heidemann just a junior, Zakowski just a sophomore, both their leading scorers, both underclassmen, the other three are seniors. All the white shirts off on the defensive side of the uh, jump circle. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> and North controls the tap, use it all, has it. Gussie looking underneath, a tight defense played by uh, Green Bay Southwest on the post players, and they're sitting in a zone right now. It's almost like a matchup zone, Marty. You know how they're kind of going to the certain player. There you go. Hit it inside to uh, Ma Madison Wolf, and she puts it up and in. And she's fouled. I thought yesterday to start the game against Sheboygan South, North had a very nice opening possession, very patient, and again, they have the same situation, and right off the bat, they get uh, a bucket. Where I think they need to go is in the paint. They need to control that paint area. My right, third, go ahead, Marty. My third point of emphasis was play good D. Keep that up, you've done it all year. My fourth was stay out of foul trouble. Let's see if North does that. They, of course, play a zone. Big, tall, lanky, and quick. Item in number five is the uh, high score we talked about, averaging uh, over 15 points a game. North, again, uh, not afraid to extend that uh, defense. They always want to know where number five is on the floor. She is not a girl you want to leave open from the three-point line. Yeah, either. I watched CJ Usadol follow her through the lane there a little bit, even though she's in a, in a zone. I said North. that the possessions are going to be extremely long tonight for each team. We're under a minute almost on a possession here. Two girls running at the shooter and uh, tipped out of bounds by uh, Emma Gentine. Those uniforms, Marty, are like the football uniforms. You can't read them. Well, at least we're not 50 yards away either. <laughs> That'd be a lot different. This isn't too bad. Almost stolen away. Uh-oh. Heidemann nails a three. Can't let her open, that just cannot be, that's a emphasis from I'm sure Coach Spielman said all night, or excuse me, all that day when you went over the scouting report. That just should never have happened. No easy looks. There you go. Pass inside to Mackenzie Wolf, over to Madison. Oh, that was a good double. You had Madison and Mackenzie there, you could get it, get it to. Looked like a du uh, double dribble, but it doesn't matter. It's stolen away by uh, Green Bay Southwest's Claire Zakowski. Deep down, making the easy layup with Sam Pedersen. Pedersen had an older brother that played uh, some football and baseball. Bay Southwest, and we had a lot of jostling inside. Getting the foul down deep is uh, Sydney Champion. She was uh, holding on to uh, Madison Wolf. Second team foul on uh, Green Bay Southwest. Inside to use it all. She gathers herself, puts it off the glass, and in. Southwest still on top, five to four. Heidemann left open for just a second. Her three ball is no good. And getting the rebound for uh, North was Madison Wolf. She had a good look there. That almost went in, Marty. Yep, she did have a good look. Wolf with a little scoop shot. Couldn't get it to go, but she does draw the foul. I want to congratulate Nick Verhagen and Sheboygan Lutheran for making it to the state tournament. We were there this afternoon to see that nice win for any team that's from Sheboygan that, or our area that gets to go to Madison. Champion with her, a second foul, Chris. She'll be coming out. Not one of their leading scores, Marty, unfortunately. So that foul trouble is probably not as key, but uh, size advantage is just 
huge for uh, North. Madison Wolf hits a couple of free throws. It's now six to five, North on top. Yep, CJ Uzo pointing where Heidemann is. That's exactly there. She still is doing a good job. Always know where she is. Floating up from three point land. It rims in and out. Good attempt that time by uh, Zakowski, but she couldn't get it. And then North lost it, but uh, avoided any trouble. Heidemann guarding use it all. That's a good matchup, Chris. Heidemann very quick, a little quicker than uh, CJ. Oh, where's a foul inside? What? They're going to call it on Wolf. That, uh, I don't agree with that call. I don't agree with that call at all. That's ridiculous. They're pounding on McKenzie and Madison the whole time down there. You're going to call one of those. You better get one when you're, they're pounding on the other side. That's a tough foul, McKenzie. Four minutes left in the first quarter. North on top, six to five. Heidemann going deep to good the talking by, corner. Good talking by Usadel again. Stolen away by Gussie. She's going hard to the hoop, puts it up. No good, but she is foul. That's gonna go on Claire Zakowski. And the fourth team foul already on uh, Green Bay Southwest. North so far has made two out of three free throws. That's a good trend. Hopefully they can keep that going. There you go, Marty. I take uh, full responsibilities for those remarks. It was Jalen Walter. I thought she... Make sure you take off your warm-up top, Jalen. Yeah. Jalen's sister's in the house. Alyssa with her friend Allie today. That one's no good. Wolf battles it away. Good hustle that time by uh, McKenzie. Oh, I should have got, Jalen should have got that one down to McKenzie right away. Jalen's had a really good couple games where she hit some threes this year. Struggled last night from the floor. Use it all from way outside the line. Couldn't get it. Wolf with the rebound and a putback. Oh, oh no! got to be kidding How me. can you call that when she gets pushed? That's terrible. That's a bad call. Jeez, that's two in a row now. Watch this. She gets pushed out of the way. She got pushed out of the way by Heidemann. Good replay, Scott. Our crew tonight is uh, Scott Mayloff in the truck. Richard Bartson running one camera. We have a ghost reporter on the uh, other camera, and then Chris and I up here in the booth. Ball is tipped away, and then... Uh, the tie-up situation, it'll go to uh, Southwest. That was a tough call for McKenzie again. You could see on the replays, Heidemann's driving her out of the block. That's an easy foul. Call is going to go on Lindsey Gussie. That and I don't even think she traveled, Marty. <laughs> You're right, I don't think she did. <laughs> because she caught it as she was falling away and chucked it up to the basket and went in. You know, he might have been anticipating that call because, you know, he couldn't have been looking at the feet. She didn't move those. And, uh, oh well, it's over and done with. We'll move on reluctantly. I'm sure Jeff Wolf did our part and added some comments to the officials. Wolf of Dairy Queen and Falls. Did you get your coupon? <laughs> <laughs> nice pass. Oh, that's going to be an easy call too. Use it all. Trying Let's to see where up. it is though. Should not be a shooting fall. She's getting two foul shots for this. Look at this replay too. If we could run this back. She's hit before she even thinks about foul shooting. First free throw attempt by Zakowski is no good. Here, watch this. She's down, bumped, and now she shoots it after. Gee, good replay. Thank you, Scott. 
We're all tied up at six with uh, 2.30 left in the first quarter. We, we're being critical on the officials, Marty. We've done a lot of tournament games already. We haven't said much because the officials have been good. Today they did a nice job too, let the kids play. Use it all shot, rolls on the rim and just wouldn't go down for. Tisha Heideman has the ball up on top. Very aware of where she is. She uh, averages uh, twice as many points as the next high scorer for uh, the Trojans. Not this time. Nope. Fool me once. Don't Madison fool me and twice. Yeah, Madison and McKenzie were both on that. A good catch that time by Madison. Her shot off the glass is in. Good catch, good shot. A lot to like about that play. Tisha Heideman. Uh, Good job of covering up by Lindsey Gussie. Sikowski looked like she had an opening. Walter couldn't get that one. They keep a hand up. Good job on defense there. Walter coming out, trying to apply some pressure. And that's not bad pressure because that also makes your path to the next person more difficult too. Tisha Heideman looking for an opening but couldn't find one that time. You know, we're seeing what, what I mentioned just briefly this afternoon, and that is they need to swing the ball from side to side. They have not done that. And uh, consequently, the zone has shifted over, and there's nothing there. you got to get it to the other side. Right. And that's a lot uh, easier said than done when you're trying to throw over Hey, here's uh, the something Wolfson. I noticed when I did my... Uh, Research for the game. They got a number one, Megan Parker. I thought number one was illegal, was an illegal number in basketball. Obviously, it isn't. I mean, they must have changed the rule, but uh, Oscar Robinson won. Yeah, but I mean, that's I'm different. That was <laughs> <laughs> Use it all with a steal. Lays it up with the left hand and good. All conference first team, CJ Uzo. Leading score for the Raiders at 11 and a half. 20 seconds left in the quarter. Picking Heideman up at half court, forcing her to uh, pass it. Seven seconds. Oh, good defensive effort that time by Madison Wolf, knocking it out of bounds. 2.7 seconds. Entering the game for North, Lindsey Gussie. Lindsey Gussie coming in. Keep your eye on number five. She's at the front of the line. Use it all going way out with her. Gussie with a steal. And that's the end of the quarter with North on top, 10 to six. If I ride, I will know the way the trees smell after the rain. I will grow a heart so strong that hospitals will take Tuesdays off. If I ride, road rage will turn into laughter. And oil tankers will haul chocolate milk. And I won't be a boy or a girl. I will just be a rider. Dude, I did the most shocking thing today. It was just something I never thought I'd do. Did your parents find out? My mom cried. What'd you do? North uh, will get it first coming out, start the second quarter. They're up 10 to six. Each team with just 10 possessions, Marty. Each team with just six shots. I mean, a couple of free throw attempts for North, but uh, not a lot of ch chances that we talked about that. So every possession is more valuable tonight. 
Used it all, had four points, and uh, Madison Wolf had uh, six. That's uh, Norris 10. Mackenzie Wolf had it for a second, passes it over. Three point attempt is down for uh, Maddie Opie. Just the second three point attempt by North tonight. One out of two. I feel a little more comfortable now, leading by a touchdown. Matisha has it on top, and again, a lot of attention being paid to her. Stephens had it, gave it up to uh, Parker. We're working it around the outside. Shot attempt is in and out. Good rebound inside, and then the shot is blocked. Stephens got the nice rebound, but uh, was looking a, a wolf in the face and uh, got bit. Norris setting up the offense. Madison Wolf lays it up over the front of the rim, and he got it down. She's three of three tonight, and the Wolves are five of eight. Check that, five of seven, Marty. That's Nine. where you gotta make your work, and your work pay off by dumping it down there to them. Nine point run for the Raiders. Three point attempt is uh, off, no good. That shot attempt was by uh, Pedersen, and the North comes away with it again. One and done for uh, the Trojans. Hope he gets it inside to McKenzie, who dumps it down to uh, Madison. And then uh, Natisha Heideman says, not in your house. Nikola Zakowski come on back for uh, the Lady Trojans. North on top, 15 to six. Heideman's a player. Uh, good, good feed into uh, Madison Wolf by Mackenzie Wolf, and uh, Madison draws the foul. She'll go be shooting some free throws again. Heidemann just a junior. Until she is game. And if Coach Borseth knows about her. Coach Borseth of UWGB. Chris, only two out of six on the free throws so far. Who? Macy Conter in the game for uh, the Raiders. Feet inside, and that goes off of uh, Sam Pedersen. Turnover number five for Southwest. 5.40 left in the first half. North looking to get some more points. They've had some opportunities at the free throw line, but uh, have not cashed in. Opie has it on top. Madison being guarded closely by Nickham. We get a whistle. Zakowski. They didn't see what happened there, Chris. I thought they were going to call a foul on Nickham underneath guarding a wolf. North will be in the bonus next time, Marty. Use it all wanted it inside, but she's getting double teamed in there. Good defense played by Sydney Champion. Southwest uh, playing a zone again. Chris uh, thinks it could be a matchup. Yeah, oh, they are doing some moving. And a lot of shoving in there. Madison getting a. She gets a three out point of the game. attempt by uh, Use It All is good. Second three ball for North. T.O., baby. Yeah, 18 to 6. Timeout by Green Bay Southwest. It's a full timeout. With 4.47 left, North on top, 18 to six.
adopt a child from foster care. Just being there makes all the difference. Chris, I look like you. <laughs> On the ride home today. <laughs> Norris shooting 70% from the floor, Marty. We asked that they shoot well, but boy, this well is beyond belief. Wasn't it like six to six or something? It was uh, six to six, and since that point, North has now run off 12 points. Usadol's got five of them. Heidemann bringing it up. Norris still extending the pressure out on top, uh, forcing her to give it up. Usadol got a hand on that shot and blocked it. And Opie came away with the rebound. Mackenzie Wool still on the bench. Macy Conter, fresh off a couple of shots last night, made a basket. Dumped down inside. Oh Madison my. Wolf blocked, but uh, picking up the foul is going to be Natisha Heideman, and that'll be her first. No, we mentioned North doesn't score a lot of points. They're only averaging 47 points a game, but. One thing we don't give North enough credit for is their patience on offense. Um, they have a purpose. They know who the players are that can do what they need to do, and they're successful at that. But this is something, if they're going to win this game and move on into a WIA tournament play, needs to improve. Yeah, I hear you. Come on, girls. It's a free throw. That's no good either. What are they at? Two for nine. Wow. Four minutes left. Sadowski has it in the corner looking to... Uh, this shouldn't happen. Shot is no good. Gentine held and then just uh, blocks off the uh, Southwest rebounder, Kayla Nickham, and lets it go out of bounds. I was just going to say, Heidemann for the first four minutes had, had a shot attempt, and that time... Uh, a good skip pass, and Macy Contra was a little slow on, on getting back. You can't, you got to remember what the important goal is here tonight, Macy. It's number five. It's not necessarily filling the lane like you normally do. And when you're coached to do it the other way for so long, sometimes it's, for, you can forget what your purpose is to look for number five tonight. Gentine looking inside, but there was nothing there. She gives it back out to Gussie. Southwest remains in the zone. Inside to Conter, her shot is off, no good. Tried to tip it out, but uh, Heidemann came up with it. Better get on her, don't let her open. Heidemann with her fourth rebound there already. She's a quick jumper. Gussie was a guarding champion very closely, forced her to give it up outside. We're down to under three minutes in the first half. Loading it up and draining it was Claire Zakowski. That breaks the run. Her first basket tonight. She's averaging eight points a game. Good skip pass there. Gussie couldn't get it. And then over the back is going to be Zakowski, and that's going to be a foul on her. That'll be a three, actually. Oh, boy. Bad foul for her. But the way the North is shooting free throws right now. <laughs> it's bad for North. All right, Gentine has uh, not been at the line yet. Let's see if she can break the ice. North was uh, two for five in the first quarter. Right now they are one for five here in the second. Getting to the free throw line is good, but you gotta make them. That bumps it up to a 20 to nine lead for uh, the Lady Raiders. 2.20 left in the first half. Heidemann being pressured on top by Usadol. 
backing up for that shot. Got it off and uh, rebound by Mackenzie Wolf. Good defense that time by CJ. Yep. There's something you don't see very much from high school girls, though, Chris, is that step back <laughs> jumper. Not from three point range. No, yeah, it's exactly. You don't see right. that from anybody. <laughs> Maybe Kevin Durant. Oh, force it into traffic. Use it all. Shot is no good, but she did draw the foul, and she'll be shooting a pair. That's foul number nine on the Trojans. Nickham picks up her second. Been a while since uh, the Raiders scored a basket, Chris. They're uh, going to the line a lot, though. Now they're starting to make them. That's three in a row. Use it all with eight points along with uh, Madison Wolf. Ugh. Heidemann, uh, who averages 17 a game, only has three. A one three point basket back in the first quarter. That three ball is no good. Tapped out of bounds. Gentine got it back. And then uh, Spielman calls a 30 second timeout to uh, preserve the possession. We'll keep it here. You know, one thing, Chris, and I mentioned it before, and I think you'll agree with me on this, is uh, they are one and out almost all the time. They're not getting many offensive rebounds. No, they, they? they've got two offensive rebounds. Good point, Marty. And that's, that's all they're getting. And again, the size advantage for North. I mean, this should be what you want to happen. Is uh, before you said, you know, you like them extending the pressure. I do too. But what I don't like is when you go for the steal and you miss it. Now all of a sudden it's five on four. Would that be overextension? <laughs> that, that would be overextension. Yeah, I think it's, a, point. you know, unless you have a sure thing, yeah, go for it. But if you don't, you got to play a solid D, not chancy D. Right. Kenzie Wolf relieves pressure, gets it up to uh, Madison. 115 left in the first half. North on top, 21 to 9. Good start by the uh, Lady Trojans, but uh, since that time, North is doing what they need to do to be successful, and this is it. Madison Wolf with a strong move to the basket, put it up and in. That was sweet. Lady Trojan shooting 21% from the floor right now, Marty. Heidemann uh, trying to get it inside. Got a little lucky there. Nice layup, though. That one by Nickham. 23 to 11, 35 seconds left. Fast half. It has been a fast half. Even with all the fouling, Chris, and all the free throws, it still has gone pretty quick. Clock rolling, 20 seconds left. You see the band getting in position to uh, entertain at halftime. 10 seconds. Dumped down to uh, Madison, kicks it out to Gentine. Her shot is no good. Rebound, Heidemann with two seconds from half court, three quarter, no good. And we're at halftime here at Sheboygan North High School with the Lady Raiders on top. 23 to 11. Are you connected? If you don't have access to internet, you aren't going to be able to take advantage of anything. The internet is essential to the basics in life, housing, health care, employment. I personally benefited from broadband because I was able to fill out different applications and I'm pretty positive that I'll get another job. To get connected, call 866-765-9118 or visit changeyourtomorrow.org. If everyone had access to the internet, people's lives would be changed. Connect today. Change your tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the floor the North High Drumline.
Hi, I'm Teresa Judice. What is nephrotic syndrome? What is FSGS? FSGS is a leading cause of kidney failure in children. Children and over 8,000 people are diagnosed with FSGS and nephrotic syndrome each year. Nephrotic syndrome affects adults and children. Of both sexes and of any race. Make a difference. And join us in the fight against FSGS and nephrotic syndrome. Please visit nephcure.org or call 866-NEPHCURE to learn more. The curfew you have imposed on me is an egregious infringement upon my social well-being and freedom. Speaking of freedom, it is preposterous to suggest that I have my homework done before playing video games. I know my rights, and you can't tell me what to do. Mom, Dad, you have 30 seconds for a response. Does every conversation with your teen turn into a debate? Call the Boystown National Hotline at 800-448-3000 or visit parenting.org. Trained counselors are on call 24-7 to help with parenting problems. My diabetes tests me every day. It tests my parents, my friends, my gymnastics practice. But JDRF has my back. They're working hard to find a cure for type 1 diabetes, which for me would mean freedom. And they help me now with better treatments and new devices that make my life easier. The folks at JDRF test themselves every day. So someday, I won't have to. JDRF, improving lives, curing type 1 diabetes. Come on, let's go. Hey, hi, what's your name? You live around here? You're pretty. Where are you guys going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? It's about time to get you fixed, sweetie. Your pets will start getting noticed sooner than you think. Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four. Stop. Whether it's on the way to school, at school, or online, bullying has become a non-stop threat to our youth today. Is your child being bullied? A national runaway switchboard can help. If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now. Every day, thousands of people suffer from sudden cardiac arrest. Would you know how to help? Or would they be all alone? Learn what to do at heartrescuenow.com. In an instant, everything we know can be taken away. I'm John LaRoquette, and as an actor, I've made a career on TV and performing on the Broadway stage. But is that what matters most? If I was suddenly disabled and couldn't take steps, couldn't I still act? Only abilities matter. Visit Kessler Foundation on Facebook and tell us your abilities. And go to KesslerFoundation.org, where only abilities matter. All right, we're back at North High School getting ready to uh, start second half action. There you see North on top, 23 to 11. Uh, Chris, what do you got for us? Shooting percentages, rebounds, that kind of stuff? Interesting, Marty. Uh, 
North is 8 of 14 from the floor. Most times you shoot 14, 15, 16 times in a quarter. But uh, one thing you have to take into account that when you take a shot attempt and the basket does not go in and you're fouled, that doesn't count as a foul or a, free, a field goal percentage shot. So that's why there's not too many opportunities. Southwest is not better. They're, they're 4 of 15 from the floor. What's interesting about Southwest is of their 15 shots, 10 of them are from three-point range. They've only hit two, oh. but their goal is to basically, if they find an opening from the outside of the zone, they're going to try to win it by hitting threes, and so far that hasn't been the case. First half scoring, first for uh, Southwest. Heideman, their uh, high score, had three points. Pedersen, two. Nickham, two. And uh, Claire Zakowski, the sophomore, the coach's daughter, had four. Four North. Opie hit a three for three points. Use it all had eight. Madison Wolf had ten. Emma Gentine had two for uh, North 23. On the free throw side, uh, Southwest was one for two. North made five. Trouble is it took them 13 attempts to uh, make the five, so they're five for 13. They made uh, some late. And uh, I think Chris mentioned both teams with uh, two three-point baskets. Another interesting thing is 14 shots attempts for North, 10 of them by Usadel and uh, Madison Wolf. Uh, which is just what you want is use it all. Madison and McKenzie will have to get all the shot attempts. So only one shot each for four other girls. Interesting situation is McKenzie Wolf, no shot attempts yet tonight. Claire Zikowski from outside the line couldn't get it in. And uh, Gentine had the ball tipped out of her hands. I think uh, well, they're going to give it to Southwest. Interesting up at half so oh. far. De Pere is uh, taking care of Kimberly. And we kind of talked about this. The conference, is, I thought, was very good this year. On the so, girls' side. Yes, yeah, especially on the top with Notre Dame, De Pere, North. A dump down inside to uh, Nickham, and she fans it out. But uh, North's defense extending, not giving uh, Southwest shooters uh, much room. Shot attempt is uh, no good, but a foul. Don't like that, Marty. Never foul a jump shooter, huh? Not from that far away. Skalski uh, misses the first one. For Gussie, that was her second. Dad shaking his head, rubbing his head. His daughter <laughs> misses a couple free throws. That's not how we practice them this summer. And uh, he leans over. <laughs> oh, tough day, Dad. I understand my son struck out a few times the last two years, too. <laughs> hey, but he could bunt the ball. <laughs> I saw on MLB.com that uh, Billy Hamilton, the speedster for Cincinnati, is working on his bunting. Going to try to uh, bunt his way on. Oh, the oh there's a push underneath and no call. Unbelievable. Wow. Coach Spielman asking, too. They, I, I mean, letting a play is one thing, but uh, at some point you do have to call a foul. And, then you call and a basket is good by Pedersen, and she's fouled. Hey. I'll tell you, Southwest does a good job of with their hips. They really drive north out of there. And Fool the officials quite a bit. Another free throw missed by the Trojans. They're suffering from the uh, same disease that North is. 23 to 13, North on top by 10. You know, and if you're Coach Zakowski, one of the things. Oh, Madison with a great job of stealing the ball and uh, getting a nice shot, but couldn't put the bunny in. I was going to say, if you're Coach Sikowski, you have to know you have to play a pretty much a perfect game tonight. And uh, missing free throws. Fan out. Help. Heideman. Good from three point land. Her first basket since early in the first quarter. And all of a sudden, it's 21 to, 23 to 16. Gussie was just slow there getting to that uh, situation. Gentine. We could say she kissed it off the glass, but uh, that might be a little bit of a misnomer. 
He more or less fired it off. But it went in, that's the main thing. There's Zakowski from way outside the line. Heidemann's shot attempt is no good. Little too much space left open though for her. Well, McKenzie tried to get that hand up, but uh, whoa, that was a bullet. Yep. Very rare turnover for North, just their fifth. Heidemann trying to create space. Her shot, uh, not a good shot attempt. She was uh, under a lot of pressure. Gussie, uh, that's the exact same thing she's been doing all game, and they finally called it. And uh, Coach Spielman lets them know about it. Well, the official kind of talked to him as did we got your call now, but that official should just walk away from that situation. Why are you having a discussion? Caught it just a little bit late, but trust us, <laughs> there was a ball there. Yeah, but the official was talking to Eric, and Eric was just applauding the, the effort. Good move to the inside. Shot is no good, but uh, Southwest picks up another foul. It's going to be their third and a half. That one goes on uh, Sam Pedersen. And the fouls are mounting on the Lady Trojans. And let's see if North can uh, make some free throws. There you go. Maybe it was the basket. Watch this. Boom. Yeah, ducking underneath her. That's a little bit dangerous. Bronx cheer from uh, the North High fans. 27 to 16. Heidemann looking for an opening. Whoops. Yeah, coming away with the rebound was uh, Nickum. Well, such a goofy rebound. <laughs> a goofy carom, yeah. Yeah, that uh, can't. Heidemann, shot under pressure, is around and down. 27 to 18. She's three of nine from the floor now. Well, she's, you know, you don't want to let her get going because uh, Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. A lot of contact in there. Sydney Champion picks up her third. Use it all. Uh, throws it away. Heidemann. And... Heidemann gets fouled. Hopefully she's not hurt. Hustling back was uh, Madison Wolf. Trying to block the shot. Watch this action. Oof. Good crowd tonight, Marty. Yes, I was thinking the same thing earlier back in the first half. Very nice crowd. Community seems to be out tonight. Besides just the students. Could use some more students, though. I know what you guys are doing on a Saturday night. You should enjoy what your school's ladies have done this year. 27 to 19, North on top by only eight now. Southwest edging back. Well, four, the, four minutes left in the third quarter, Chris. We figured the score was going to be something like this, Marty. There's no doubt about that. Dumped down inside to uh, Madison. She kisses it off the window for two. Nice pass from McKenzie. Heidemann. Got penetration, dishes it out. Three point basket is good by Pedersen. She's creating some openings, Chris. And North. I think that ball got tipped. There's, the referees are saying no. Southwest is going to have it. It's hard to tell from up here. But the pressure did get to North, obviously. Coach Eric Spielman calling a 30-second timeout. He senses uh, a run here. It's 20, 29 to 22. Once again, the uh, five of the uh, seven shots. Excuse me, five of the 
eight shots so far, Marty, in the corner from Southwest are threes. So that's their philosophy. We're going to put it up from three and hope they go down. I think it starts with uh, the defense on top. The last couple of times, uh, heidemann has been able to get enough penetration where they're surrounding her, and then she fans it out, and people are open from the corners, and uh, that last time they happened to hit one. Three thirty left in third. North on top by only seven now. It's just strange. Fifteen of the twenty-three shots for Southwest are from outside the arc. Well, it's hard to get much inside oh, against yeah. the uh, Wolf Girls. Got that right. And don't forget Emma Gentine down there too. She's no slouch. Ball is tipped away, uh, and then uh, use it all gets called for the foul. For uh, CJ, that'll be her second. And it's the fourth team foul on North. They actually have more team fouls than uh, Southwest. Again, the defense extending out to uh, Make it a little tougher for uh, the Trojans. You know, Marty, I'm not concerned yet. Seven point lead still seems to be a lot, but uh, North's still gonna have to do their things on offense and banging it inside, but now Coach Kosakowski calls a full timeout, Marty. Full timeout with uh, 2.46 left in the third, North on top by seven. I'm Sandra Fry. I'm a union bus driver, and I'm also a mom. During 17 years with Greyhound, I've covered over 2 million miles. My job is to safely bring families together. I love the open road, but I never forget that a drowsy or careless driver could be right around the next curve. Drunk driving is the deadliest of all. As a mom and as a bus driver, I have a message for you. If you drink, don't drive. Back at uh, North High School, we got a, sec a regional final game going on. The winner of this uh, game will move on to sectional play up at uh, Green Bay Preble on Thursday, uh, 7 o'clock game. We hope North wins and uh, that uh, WSCS TV is there. The, uh, not concerned or worried yet, Marty. I know it's a seven point game, and in most situations you say you'd be concerned, but in a low scoring game where possessions are rare. And you between it's yeah, I'm not that concerned yet what concerns me is that Heidemann is uh, hurting the Raiders not just with uh, scoring but also with her uh, drive penetration she's number five shot by Nickham is no good rebound by uh, Madison Wolf that was Pedersen on the shot attempt use it all uh, trying to find an opening Dump it down, dump it down, be patient and dump it down. Gentine open, rainbow three is no good. Madison Wolf with the board. And we're gonna get another foul, that's gonna go on Nickham. For uh, Kayla, that's gonna be her fourth. Watch right here, boom. Angela Steffens comes in to replace her. And uh, Zakowski really riding Gussie out as she went underneath the basket. Under two minutes in a long third quarter. Fast first half, not a fast third quarter. Kick out to use it all. Her three attempt is uh, off no good. Had a pretty good look. 140 left. Chris mentioned we're uh, rolling along here. It's been a longer third quarter, obviously. I'll tell you what makes it long is when uh, Southwest scores baskets. Shot attempt by Heidemann is off, no good. Matt McKenzie Wolf with the rebound. Little too slow there again, Lindsay. That almost went down again. They've had about three or four rim rattlers. 
Use it all. Nice bounce pass into Madison Wolf. Her shot is up and in. Very hard shot attempt, but she got it to go down. Finally, North with a score. Oh, Mr. Wright. 31 to 22, under a minute. Steffens at the free throw line. Shot attempt is off, no good. North with a rebound, 40 seconds left. Pedersen couldn't get the three to go in. See how North plays it, so 35 seconds now. Here's where I go all game. Madison puts it up, she's fouled by uh, Steffens and uh, a lot of body work by the girls from uh, Green Bay Southwest trying to prevent North from scoring. I would not have any other shots besides those, Marty. I know it's a lot easier said than done when you like to shoot the three, but they're just getting so much work done with McKenzie and Madison in the paint. In the quarter, Chris, uh, this is only gonna be the fourth free throw attempt coming up. They, uh, Madison made two earlier, and now she's got two more, so the free throw shooting has uh, really slowed down. Twenty-eight point nine seconds remain. Heidemann slow bringing it up. North continuing in the zone. Stephens trying to get the screen. Kick over shot is blocked by Madison Wolf. Pedersen uh, is open in the corner, but not that time. Good recovery. There you're gonna see it, hand up in the air, and blocked. Good replay, Scott. Shot attempt, no good. North has it with 10 seconds left, there's time. Opie, no good at the buzzer. And we're at the end of three quarters of play, North on top, 31-22. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware, we're all responsible. Grandpa, look what I got. Let me see. Oh, Dad, wait till you see the bike we got for Jake. Hearing loss happens gradually with age, making it easy to ignore. Yet most older Americans aren't getting their hearing tested. Untreated hearing loss can keep your loved ones from enjoying what they cherish most. Dad, can you hear me? Don't let that happen. Speak up about hearing loss. You'll be glad you did. in Green Bay at the end of uh, three quarters of play. Kimberly and uh, DePierre are all tied up. I know by the time you watch this on replay, that'll be uh, history. But uh, Chris and I like to talk like that. Yeah, and uh, it's a tough, tough, tough sectional. Kimberly, DePierre, Arrowhead is on the other bracket. They're ranked number six in state. DePierre is a preseason ranked team. North. Mini state tournament. Madison Wolf leads all scores. Chris after three with 16 points. Use it all has uh, continues with eight. Kick out Opie, penetrating over to Use it all, and shot is no good. It's a jump ball situation or tie up and uh, North now two of nine from out there. Now in a boys game, this wouldn't be an issue. Somebody would jump up and knock it down, but uh, with the girls, it's a little tougher. Is that right there? Two of them. Oh, nine. here comes Davis Larson to save the day. You weren't, you weren't available. <laughs> uh, up here is a long walk. Plus they didn't have a ladder.
Marty, it's just me, but uh, two of nine from three. North is nine of 12 with two pointers. Why are we shooting threes? Well, Heidemann uh, got a screen and took a three attempt and nailed it. Now it's six. I'm getting worried, Chris. I'm not. Coach Spielman calls a timeout. Didn't want to have a 10 second call on his team. 7.13 left, North only up six. Chris mentioned that just before. It's a full timeout, Scott. We can take a 30. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you. Back at North High School, they uh, lead it by only six. Uh, Southwest has played a much better second half. Oh, that was the... Uh... Whoop. Nice shot, CJ, and there you see Davis Larson. Guy can't keep, you can't keep him off camera, Chris. I thought CJ that time was dribbling too much. That time she should have passed, get it to the middle of the floor to where uh, Mackenzie Wolf would have been there. Right here, here she is. Make yourself big, Mackenzie. Oh boy. Southwest continuing in the zone. Dump down inside, kick out. What I'd like to see is when they get it down low, at least face the basket, see what your options are. Mackenzie rolling to the middle of the lane. Her shot is in and out, Chris. She had a good look in the middle of the lane but couldn't get it to drop. Let's see how Southwest plays this. Heidemann steps back. Her shot is no good, but Walter commits a foul outside the line. And Heidemann is going to get three free throws. That's twice now. Yep, that was definitely a foul. I was wrong, Marty. It was two for nine. North is from three-point range. Nine of 13 from two-point range. In other words, scrap the three-point shot. Plus, you got how many foul free throw or foul attempts, uh, fouls on Southwest down there. That's where I would go is bang it inside, scrap that three-point shot. Heidemann now with 14 points, looking for number 15. Couldn't get that one, but getting it back and putting it up but not making it was uh, Sam Pedersen. Madison and McKenzie in there. You want to get it to uh, McKenzie. She's a good passer, getting it down into her sister. It's right where Southwest wants to be. Low scoring game. At North up only four. Limit possessions. Under six minutes left in the ball game. A lot of bumping and banging out you there. You got that right. Every North girl that goes through t gets a shot. Look at. And they're double teaming down underneath yeah. whenever they can on that zone. Yep. Madison getting an introduction. And they're finally going to call a foul underneath. That's going to go on uh, Angela Steffes, her second. For uh, Southwest, that's their sixth foul. Keep pounding it inside. Draw the fouls. There it is. Nice pass. Good catch. Wow, tipped away. Good hard move to the ball was uh, Steffens that time. Yep, she did knock it away. Well scouted. They know where it was going. Sikowski has it in the corner. 
And a nice pass and a basket by uh, Angela Steffens. North has yet to score in the quarter, Chris. Well, they only got eight points in the half. Gussie, bango, that was a big one. Thirty-four twenty-nine North by five. Four forty-five left in the game. Got to keep a hand up on her. Oh, ball was kicked. See on the counter for Southwest. <laughs> You really can't go down into the paint. Well, you can go in the paint and then fan it out. Right. And uh, that's what they're doing at the high post. They right. uh, haven't had a girl in the high post the last couple of possessions. Sikowski open. Wide open look. Glances off the backboard, no good. Heidemann trying to tip it away. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my balance by pushing you. And they're going to get an offensive foul on uh, Mackenzie Wolf. Wow. I think that should be an automatic technical foul. I mean, you can't be charging out on the floor like that. Come on. And I hate to say it, but because uh, I like Casey Zakowski, I think he's a class act like we mentioned in the opening, but you just can't do that. I mean, you can't talk him back to the bench. That's ridiculous. I mean, that's, I don't know about you, Chris, that's almost an automatic. It should be. It should be an automatic. I mean, just can't run out on the floor. Yep, look at Jim Beheim. He went out and did that, and look what happened to him. Two technicals. I think it was Heidemann Casey's with a carry not too, called. So that's then you're a little more emotion than uh Sikowski uh, has it looking, looking. Heidemann left open. Her three attempt is down. Another three, and we can see why she's averaging almost 18 a game. Why? 34-32. Is she open? I think uh, CJ needs to come up and get the ball. There you go. North on top by only two. CJ taking a three, no good. Down inside to McKenzie who lays it up and in. Lindsey Gussie with a great pass, Chris. North by four. Needed a basket there. Way outside. And we're going to get a foul on Heidemann, and uh, she's out there competing, Chris. I'll give her that. She's a hard player. Only her second foul. You know, looking back at that situation, Marty, that should have been a technical automatic. I mean, that's just. You can't let coaches run on the floor like that. No. You know, I understand. Uh, this is an old-fashioned one-and-one, Chris. We need the first to uh, get the second. Seventeen points now for uh, Madison Wolf. She has nine rebounds, also, Marty. That one rims off. It doesn't even rim off. It's off. North by five, rolling down to uh, the three-minute mark. Letitia Heideman. Oh, travel. Good call, Chris. Caitlin Rolfson. Uh, Committing that turnover. First turnover of the half I have for Southwest. They've uh, played steady basketball here in the second half. And a good play. <laughs> Around and down for Mackenzie Wolf. Extending the pressure, cost the Trojans that time. And good hustle by Mackenzie to run down the floor instead of being a spectator. Zakowski driving to the basket, gets called for an offensive foul. And I think that's her fourth. 
And uh, coming in is uh, Kayla Nickham. Rolofsen uh, coming off. It's intense, Marty. Very. You can just feel the intensity and the electricity in the building. Use it all with a good catch, and then it's stolen away by Heidemann, looking for an opening. Good defense that time. A push called. No, they call a 30-second timeout. Casey Zakowski sensing uh, a turnover there. Were you going to call a... It's a 30-second timeout. Hey, Scott, can you replay that last time in the, We're gonna see in the corner, see if she pushed off? It really looked like she pushed the defender away. I don't know what he was going to show us, but uh, well, here's the, the foul before. Yeah, he maybe, well. <laughs> well, he got the foul. Yeah, he got the foul. He, there, there definitely was uh, a little more than needed to be, but uh, you still don't run on the floor. Right, and I, my other point is, what was she doing to, to draw the, the foul there? I mean, yeah, Mackenzie's right. just yeah. not going to. Well, we hope she wouldn't. Right. You would. And again, it's, it was Casey's daughter, but. You can't go on the floor regardless. That's over and oh man, how can you not call over and back? Jeez, that's right in front. He's watching it happen. Yep, that's gutless. Basket is by Pedersen. Bad miss there by the official. That's again. not a miss. God Almighty, you got to be kidding me. North uh, slowing it down. Two minutes left in the game. They're up by five. Dumped down inside to uh, Madison. She's fouled. She'll be shooting two. Committing that foul was uh, Kayla Nickham, and uh, that's going to be five for her, Chris. You know, that was a good foul by her. Kind of shoved on the back, but you don't want North to get easy points under two minutes. Let uh, North earn it at the free throw line, which tonight has been a roller coaster to say the very least. Casey Zakowski taking his 30 seconds, and uh, I don't know if she checked in. She just ran out on the floor. Sydney Champion in. Kimberly 36, the Pier 35. Final? Final. All right. Darn it. Wolf shooting two. We need uh, at least one here. Couldn't get it. 41, uh, pardon me, 40 to 34, six point lead. Bad pass allowed uh, North to recover. Heidemann looking, gets a screen, but uh, again, a little too much air time. Dump down inside. They're going to get uh, Mackenzie Wolf for the foul with the body. That looked like a good call, actually. Very good call. And I thought North played really, really good defense there until that last dump down in the post. They really were hustling, scrambling. But patience by Southwest earned these free throws. Stephens' free throw is off. Southwest has missed a bunch of free throws, too, they could look back at. Steffen gets a second one, 40 to 35, five point advantage, 120 left in the ball game. Use it all being guarded by Heidemann. Call a timeout, Eric, call a timeout. Use it all has it back, that's a good person to have handling the ball. One minute left in the ball game. Southwest better think about fouling. They're down by five. Double bonus though for North next time. Use it all has it now. And 
Foul called on Heidemann. That's going to be uh, her third. And it's uh, double bonus time for the Raiders. I don't like this timeout, Marty. Who's calling this? Southwest. Southwest. 32nd timeout, so we'll keep it here. That's their fourth timeout. They only got one left. Right now it's a two-possession game. A couple free throws makes it a three-possession game with uh, 49 seconds left. Uh, that'd be a pretty tall order. If I'm north, Coach Spielman, I'm addressing not the defensive end, but if Southwest would score, watch for a press and be aware of what you need to do to come to the ball and take care of the basketball. I think they got to watch out for the three-point shot. Okay. And, uh, use it, or, uh, Southwest has been doing that all night, and uh, they haven't made a lot of them, but uh, they've been getting some wide-open looks recently. All right, CJ at the line. CJ has eight points. She hasn't scored since the first half. There's six of 23, Marty. Six of 20, excuse me, six of 24. Six of 24 from three-point range. Uh, Southwest, that is. Use it all makes one. It's 41-35. Uh, North has only made three of six free throw attempts here in the fourth quarter. Heidemann looking for uh, Zakowski. Heidemann's wide open. Shot is blocked by McKenzie and then thrown down by Zakowski. And, uh, of course, that official is not going to call anything other than but the foul because he doesn't have the uh, wherewithal to uh, watch this takedown. Throw her down. I mean, uh, I mean, isn't that an intentional foul? I mean, come on. Claire Zakowski fouls out. <laughs> it's unfortunate, really, that the game has, has, has gotten to this point, but I'll tell you who I fault for that is the officiating. Yep. They let the official or the coach run on the court, uh, you know, and there's obvious calls that aren't made you know, that you have to make. I mean, that's the game. That's just the way it's supposed to be played. That's a huge free throw that time by uh, Lindsey Gussie. Well, earlier in the game, we had some... Times McKenzie got just mauled. taken out and mauled, and that one we think of that travel. But I'll tell you what, I like it as a three-possession game right now. Yeah, exactly. Heidemann working hard, trying to get a shot and drawing a lot of attention. Get a hand up. Good block shot. Gussie has it. Or Emma Gentine, pardon me. And another foul called on Southwest. Gentine will go to the line to shoot a pair. Looks like North is going to escape with a win here, Chris. Well, it wasn't easy. It definitely was not easy. And you know, Coach Zakowski, he's a great coach. There's just no other way about it. He had a plan and attack, and... Uh, Hey, his girls play hard. They're uh, organized, and like you said in the beginning, he's you know he's a good coach. Just like you said, no, he's got the girls playing good. Heidemann working hard. Got to get a hand up. Good job of defending there. Rolfson gets it inside. Shot is blocked. But they're going to call a foul on Mackenzie Wolf. Angela Steffens will uh, go to the line with 10.6 seconds left. The fall on uh, McKenzie. Chris. Chris is going to go downstairs for uh, some interviews for us. North by nine. Ball rims out. Conter has it. Madison Wolf. Deep pass. Conter gathers it in, shoots it up. No good at the buzzer, and that's the ball game. North the winner, 
45 to 36. He serves his party best who serves the country best, Rutherford B. Hayes. Patriotism is easy to understand in America. It means looking out for yourself by looking out for your country. Calvin Coolidge. Government is the people's business, and every man, woman, and child becomes a shareholder with the first penny of tax paid. Ronald Reagan. There is nothing wrong in America that can't be fixed of what is right in America. William Clinton. Be the we now. They fought for social change. They fought against tyrants. They fought for human rights. Yet behind these achievements are individuals who waged a more personal war. They fought the struggle against mental illness. And they won. You're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer. That's why the Surgeon General issued this warning. Now you're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer for non-smokers. That's why the Surgeon General issued this warning. Radon is an invisible radioactive gas that seeps inside your home from underground. Whether you smoke or not, radon can cause lung cancer. Protect your family. Have your home tested. Call 1-800-SOS-RADON. Radon problems can be fixed. to be perfect to be a perfect parent because kids in foster care don't need perfection they need you this could be a bicycle or a bat this could be a robot or an airplane this could be a playground this could be a book bag or a soccer ball this could be a book this could be beautiful this cannot be trash. This can all be recycled. Learn more at thiscouldbe.org. Some risks are obviously not worth taking. Watch where you're going! Some aren't as obvious, but could be just as deadly. Like the risk for type 2 diabetes, especially if you're over 45 or overweight. Take the diabetes risk test. It's free and takes less than a minute. Type 2 diabetes is one risk you can't afford to take. So stop diabetes before it stops you.
We're back here at uh, Raider Gym here, the field house, whatever you want to call it. CJ, what a battle tonight. Wow, that was a war. Yeah, it was. I mean, we came out and we just played our game and we worked on a lot of in practice and I think that's where it comes from and our defense really held us in it. So It looked like Southwest goal tonight was to try to maybe post it in the middle and then swing and just shoot up threes and hope they went in and you guys had to just continually fly to the ball. It's, it seemed like every shot they shot was from three-point range and they didn't go in, but I thought you're right. Your defense was outstanding. Yeah, well, our goal was really to stop Heidemann and she, was, she played well and we got... We stopped her, but I guess it just wasn't enough. So. Yeah, she's really quick and she can shoot. And I mean, it's just uh, you could see what Coach Sikowski wanted to accomplish tonight. But you guys countered with your defense and things. I thought another thing you guys did well tonight was really pounded inside. You had a big size advantage, and between McKenzie and Madison yourself, I know in the first half you guys had all the shot attempts. I wish you had more shot attempts in the second half, but it looked like the goal was to take, put it down into you guys. Yeah, it was a lot of teamwork. I mean, once you get it in the post, they look for kickouts. If you get it into them, they'll go up with it. It's just kind of all around team playing. So. Yeah, and I thought that too. And then you guys seem to get fouled a lot when you get it in the paint too. Yeah, and we got to the line a lot more than normally. And our free throws didn't quite fall, but we got <laughs> some of them. So it always helps. Don't worry. You got enough critics in the stand about your free throw shooting tonight. You got all next week to work on that yeah. again too. And it, you know that's just a simple thing that can be fixed. But uh, you got your goal. You got to the regional championship. It's just one step. You know, it's been an unbelievable run for you ladies and things. And team still hanging in there? Yeah, it's great. We're all excited and we all want to keep it going. We don't want the season to end. So we're going to work really hard in practice next week and the following week. And we're going to make it. Well, congratulations to you. I hope we see you Thursday. Coach, I know uh, it's been an incredible year. And you've had a, a big target on your back every single game. But the ladies have been, what a special group. Yeah, it's certainly been fun, but you know, I think having to go through adversity like this, you know, really reveals our, our character and, and our ability to pull together in key situations. And I think, you know, going down the stretch here, there's there's no more easy games. Everything's going to be a battle, and the more we're battle tested, I think the better we're going to be. Well, I, I said before, I think the conference this year for the girls, especially the upper end, is just loaded, and for, to get you into games like this, and it should help you down the road. I mean. I mean, the Pier's a nice team, and Notre Dame's a nice team, and Southwest's a nice team, and games like these do help you guys. Yeah, you know, I think we've played well in our biggest games so far, and I think that's a credit to our girls, and, and, and CJ, to be honest, is, is really the leader of our team and, and really keeps our composure in those key situations. Yeah, and a game like tonight, too, you just, I don't know, it just it seemed like it was a, just a battle out there. Every possession, I, I said at the beginning, every possession's going to be big because both teams are going to kind of hold it and try to accomplish what they wanted tonight. And here's just another case when you don't get a lot of opportunities and possessions are so valuable, you know, you got to really be successful when you try to pound it in there or do things like that. Yeah, Southwest is a team that's very patient on offense, and I think we had to defend for long periods of time, at least in the first half. Um, and we knew coming in that possessions would be limited, and, you know, getting to the line and knocking down those free throws are, are big in those situations. And, and we knocked down enough. That's the key. One thing I just, I, I've talked to the girls all season about it, Eric, and I've mentioned it a bunch of times. I am so impressed with your defense. It's not many teams I've ever heard of that allows only 28 points per game. I mean, that, that's just incredible. What a, you know, what a commitment by your ladies to that defense is important. Yeah, you know, I think it was a decision early in the season. We came out the first three games playing man and 
we ended up switching the zone and certainly were more effective with that. And we made the decision that, you know, I, I think the more you commit to something, the better your instincts are going to be and you just can work on it and get better at it rather than continually switching things. And you know, hopefully we're peaking on that end of the floor at the right time and the offensive end. Well, I know, too, I think I said it a number of times, you're big and tall and lanky and quick. you got quick girls out there, you know, despite their size, they really hustle to the ball and, I mean, it makes it very difficult for, for offenses. It sure it seems that way. Yeah, you know, and I think being prepared in our, in our scouting reports and our, our girls really listening and buying into that makes us more athletic and makes us quicker because we're able to anticipate what the offense is going to do to us. One last thing, the target's been on your back all year. I mean, it's been a special year. I mean, conference championship and regional championship, it's not all the goals yet, but, wow, it's been an incredible year so far. Yeah, you know, and I think my message has been to the team to continually enjoy every moment um, and, you know, and really enjoy the teammate part of it as much as it is the wins. Um, you know, hopefully the wins will continue and, and there'll be good memories from that, but, uh, you know, their memories together are certainly going to be things that are going to last even longer than any win will. I'm not going to say anything else after that. That sums it up terrifically, Eric. We'll see you Thursday night. With that, we're going to send it back to Marty. North, North a winner, 45-36. to 36. Uh, Southwest ends their season 17-7. and 7. North uh, continues on. They are now at 24-0. and 0. Moving on to sectionals against Kimberly. That'll be on Thursday night. Uh, leading scorer for uh, Green Bay Southwest was uh, Natisha Heidemann. They're uh, all-conference players. She finished with 17 right at her average. For uh, North, they were led by Madison Wolf, who had 18 points. C.J. Usedal, you just saw her in the interview, had 9. Uh, Opie had 3. Gussie, 5. Mackenzie Wolf, who fouled out, had uh, 4 points. And uh, Emma Gentine had 6. Uh, I just mentioned North will be playing Kimberly Thursday night. That's a 7 o'clock game up at Green Bay Preble. Uh, Dan Stengel told me they uh, are going to be selling tickets here at North High on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. There will be pep and community. There will be pep buses for students and community. Uh, the tickets are five dollars. The uh, bus ride is five dollars. So for ten bucks, you're going to get a good evening of uh, wholesome entertainment. Uh, for the crew, Scott Mailoff, our director, great job on the replays again, Scott. And uh, to our cameraman, Richard Bartson, and for my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.